Okay, everybody. I'm going to take the homemade spray I made to repel skunks and spray around the perimeter of the house. And you can watch me. It's pretty strong. If I can get my sprayer to spray. Not doing very good, is it? This is heavy, too. Fingers are going to give out on me. What the heck? Isn't that nice? <sighs> Thank goodness my smoker's sitting here beside me. Turn the knob and see what happens. Paid three ninety nine for this bottle. You would think it would work. Hobby. There we go. Well, I'll be only one squirt. There we go. Okay, around the perimeter we go. Might as well do this one too. Man, I smell that. Those peppers are strong. Spray around the perimeter. Anywhere where they could possibly climb in. If I see a skunk, I definitely will be spraying it. And you can smell those jalapenos. I don't know if it's going to come around this building here or not, but let's spray it just in case. Thank God for a long squirt, huh? Go around the building here. Peeking around the corner, make sure there's no skunks first. <laughs> See, there's a hole there, so something might have went in there. You never know. And go to this drain here. Used to be a water or sewer back. I don't know. Something from this house that's here that we're going to tear down sometime. That'll help get rid of some of these animals hanging around. They live inside that old house. My hands are getting tired. <laughs> Walking through all this mud. Isn't that interesting? And I heard um, a skunk can squeeze its way through a hole as small as their head, which means it can fit in this hole here. Their body's big, but they can squeeze. I don't know, maybe they get hollow. <laughs> Whew, those jalapenos are strong. Ugh. So, if you made a potion, I call it a potion, if you made some of this spray that I made with the onions, the jalapenos, the canyon pa pa uh, pepper uh, powder, come on now, it's not spraying again, and mix it up and put it in a spray bottle, this would work for you too. Give it a try and comment what you, how you got it to work. I need a better sprayer, I guess can't believe this isn't working. I'm going to get one of those pumps that you holds a gallon or half a gallon or whatever. And you pump it up and then just a nozzle. I think that would probably work a lot better than this. 
I'm getting some of those from the garden this next year from my neem oil, my fish water. This is not working. Anyway, I'm almost around the house, but just get it to work. <sighs> I'm wasting all my finger strength trying to get it to come out. Sure did turn out to be nice today, around 50 degrees. Come on. There we go. When the ground dries up more, then we will finish this up, clogging up all these holes and building it up, but just too muddy right now. So, if you like this, I know I do, it's keeping all the skunks away. Not sure if the cats even like the smell of it. Let me go get the shed here in a little bit. I might as well spray around there too. Because that's small enough they can fit their head in. They can probably get anything. Boy, that's strong. Okay, I sprayed around the house. Now let's come over here to the shed. The cat's wanting to follow me. spray again anyway I'll finish spraying this later if you like this content that I put on the video please smash the like button are you trying to say hi ball say hi okay isn't he a good cat anyway smash the like button and Share this with people on your social media. I'll turn around so you whoa. Turn around so you can see me. I don't know if you can see me very well, but hopefully you can. Got a bright light right in my eyes. <laughs> anyway, there's Ball and Bell. So um smash like buttons and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>